Okay, the next one kind of looks like a brick wall. It's metric. It'll be kind of fun. So let's click New. Click ACAD.DWT. That's the one you always start with. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, the one brick on the far right that is 94 long. So I'll click Line. I'll turn the ortho on. Go across 94 this way. I'm going to go up 60. I'll go back this way, 94. And then C to close. All right. So now, what we're going to use next is we're going to use this command. It's a new command. It's called the offset command. So if we click offset, we're going to set a distance first. Our distance to go through uh, or set our office offset distance here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it as 12 and click this, this direction. All right. Next thing we're going to do, different command, click modify, and we are going to, oh no, it's not modify, it's going to be in the modify uh, ribbon, go to mirror, do a window around this block right here, right click, then you're going to click your, specify your first point of mirror, so we're going to right click and click the midpoint, right, so shift right click to get to these, uh, uh, the overrides, click the midpoint, and then come down right here like this. All right. Um, hold on. I'll do that again. Mirror. Do a window around this. So I'm clicking and clicking. Right click to say I'm done selecting those. First point of my mirror line has got to be the midpoint of this. So I'll shift right click to the, get to the overrides. Click midpoint. I'm going to click that midpoint and come straight down. And I'm just going to left click right there. Erase my source objects. Nope. I want to leave that one right there. So I'll click no. All right, so now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we can go up here and we'll offset again. I'm going to click offset and offset again. It's going to be 12. So my distance is already set as 12. So now I'll just right click and enter. So it goes to the next thing here. It says select object to offset and I'm going to select that object right there. All right. Now this top one here is also 200 long and I've already got a line drawn. So I'm just going to use the copy command and I'm going to copy this line, this line, and this line. Whoops, click that line right there. Right click. I'm going to use this as my base point because it correlates right to that one. So if I copy this one from this base point to that point right there and then hit escape, I've got most of that line down or that block done. But if I click this right here, these little blue dots are called grips. I can left click on that grip and just drag it straight out to that one right there to, and touch right on that end point. So that's the, one of the advantages to using the O-snap. I'll use the mirror command again and mirror right around this right here. And I'll use the same midpoint I did before. Shift right click, midpoint, come down here and click there to delete my source objects no so now I've got that part drawn um, this is where it gets dreadfully easy because I'm going to use the mirror command here and I'm going to do a window around these parts right click first point of my mirror line will be the mid shift right click midpoint of here and I'll drag this over this way not deleting those and I'll do that same exact thing again for this part right here shift right click to get my base point so that midpoint right there and put that one there I'm not deleting it double click the mouse wheel save as one this is going to be uh, C then we'll go and go ahead and do the print oops hold on let's do the print there make sure it looks right right click that's centered on there Go ahead and plot that, and this is what you're going to submit when you when you submit for a uh, a test. Submit the, the PDF. So I've saved the DWG. Now I'm submitting the PDF.